Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video. Uh, today I want to go over uh, a couple of advanced features that you'll find in the Morph Effect. And now I know a lot of folks have a lot of frustration with the Morph Effect because they just don't understand how it works. Well, I want to go over a couple things on the effect that will help you sequence just a little bit differently and add a little bit of variety into what you're already doing for your mega tree. Now, I, first I'm going to look at the color palette here. I have uh, three colors selected, a white and two reds. And white is always known as the first color of the head if you look at the morph here. And then you see the tail, which is the small section here. That's going to be the, the last two colors there. Or if you just have one color there, it does the same thing. There's two parts to the effect. What I want to do now is I want to start over here in the Start tab. Most everybody is familiar with the Morph Quick Set Options drop down where you can select either a full sweep up or down right or left or you can do a single sweep up down right or left now we all know that the direction that the, if you've if you've got everything set up like normal in, in your sequence and you have your mega tree and so forth and you do a full sweep up it's going to turn on every pixel starting at the bottom and moving to the top well I think what most people want to do is some really cool effects and they just don't have they just don't have the patience to sit there and draw out every single detail inside the effects assist box so one of the things that you can do is to select one morph and instead of using the whole window here what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you click and drag inside the effect assist window. If you're not using this already, this is ridiculously simple. I'm going to start here in the middle. I'm just going to select any box. Each of these boxes here represents one pixel on your mega tree. And the lines here represent everything that are inclusive inside the box that the effect will be overlaid on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a single line straight up, going straight up. And to do that, I'm going to click the mouse button one time anywhere, and that's where the effect is going to start at that single mouse click right there. Now, I'm going to go to the top here and another single line, and I'm going to right click, and this is where the morph is going to terminate. So there's the right click. So as you can see, as per the effects screen here, the model, the model preview, you can see this is the one line going morphing straight up the tree. This is the single most powerful part of the morph effect that I found to be so helpful in helping me create very quick effects in a short period of time. So what you need to get used to is click and drag, and now you can have two points. So let's go back and do click and drag. That's the left click and right click and drag and that is your endpoints so left click and drag is your start point right click and drag is your endpoint so now you can quickly create these boxes or these blocks for your morph effect now <clears throat> obviously in my other video i uh, i showed you well, you can you can come over here and you use the morph effect, and you do your you can just click and drag these little boxes. Um, well, if I copy this, and and this is what I taught you before, and let's skip two lines here, and let's do that again. We have one, two, three pixels that I I have in the middle. So we'll left click and drag one, two, three, and we start here. Left click and drag, and now I've effectively created an exact. Uh, duplicate but I moved it over and if I copy it again I can go the whole way across the tree in a relatively quick period of time because I know how to click drag and right click and copy so let's do this one two more times all right so there we go and if we wanted them to chase, if we'd want the first one on the left to go first, and then this one, and then this one, and this one, and this one, then what we would do is we'd highlight, we would hold the alternate button down, and we'd uh, get the double arrow pointed at the bottom right of the effect, and just drag it out like that. So now you see it shoots up, and let's do the on effect, uh, shift and the letter O. 
and that takes you the whole way through the effect. So you can see we just created this effect very simply. Now what I want to show you today is some of the options that are in our morph effect that allow you to do this without having to create these five levels or these five layers of morphing. Now if you understand the manual way to do it that's great it takes you a little while to understand uh, to, to do this not understand it but it takes a little while to do this but what you can do is you can take this individual single morph effect and you can go to your options tab here and you have these three tabs the start tab the end tab and the options I'm gonna work within the options tab now and let's go ahead and do something called a repeat count so that we have a skip that is more like this where there's a couple blank spaces between them so let's go back and click on the effect and let's do repeat skip there we go we got we've got something that looks similar we have one two three four five they pop up and then they disappear and we have we have five that go straight up now next what we can do is we can do what's called a stagger or the rate at which each repeated effect each individual effect this is the effect here how often it is or how quickly it is sent up so if you just play with this for a little bit you'll you'll find that here you've got in just one effect <clears throat> over the period of time that you've allotted so we've got this time period is a little longer because it's stretched between five effects if you come over here and look looks like we have about the exact same effect from one single morph versus five separate morphs so this should be something that you could uh, that you could use to help clean up your uh, effects screen uh, a lot of the purchase sequences whenever you import them into X lights and you get all those crazy morphs you, ha you can have up to 40 or 50 um, layers inside the inside the mega tree just to create uh, some of the effects that are, are from the uh, from there uh, from the superstar sequence but if you take the time to learn how to do this you only need to take up space for one single individual morph so from here let's go into um, a different morph and let's change the colors just because I'm going to use the letter M for morph and I'm going to do a single sweep up let me just clear it out over here so a left click oh, look that's pretty neat let's reset everything I don't want to spoil the fun so we're going to do a single effect here left click and then right click bam so now we have our effect going straight up the mega tree and something people like to do is they like to have uh, the single uh, effect going straight across but it doesn't need to hit every single string so that deals more with the repeat count and the skips so there are 32 strings in my mega tree half of that is 16 obviously I'm gonna set the repeat count to 16 and then I'm gonna repeat a skip every two lines so now we've got a morph that skips a line and is only every other line on my mega tree so it gives the appearance of a broad wide um, kind of more uh, less less bright bright uh, morph and if we go ahead and use the stagger option let's just looking at the effect you can see it go straight across the screen there it's just gonna follow through it's gonna it's gonna stagger the start time just like it did for over here in these other effects so now we've got our stagger effect let's learn a little bit about this head duration if you notice and I'll slow this down let's do let's let's explain how the head works um, you see the head is right here on the morph the the head is the front section with one color when I have three colors selected and the tail section is the last two colors if I increase at the options tab the head duration this will show that this will this will make the head larger it'll spend more time with the head and less time with the tail so if we go from 20 to 50 we can see the effect gets a little shorter but the head doesn't disappear any the head doesn't get any bigger or smaller 
<clears throat> if we go all the way to full 100, now we only see the head. Okay? There is no tail. There is just one effect. You can see right there how different it is whenever you have changed the, the effect around. So n now you can either make the tail shorter or the head duration is, stays around longer. Now let's do something else. Um, let's make the head a little bit longer so it's shorter. And let's go back to the start screen. If we look at the effect, the start part of the morph, we have a head length here as well as we have a head length at the end. Now what this tells the morph to do is hold the head length at two at the beginning and then at the end morph it to two at the end. So what if we want a larger head at the end? Let's make it like that. So we have a much larger, as it goes up the tree, it gets bigger. It gives it a different taste to the effect. It gives it a different appearance. Now, let's take this all the way up to 50. Now it's mostly head and just a little bit of the tail. So you can see what that head does. If you like, if you like having this, uh, the, the three colors, I, I usually use three colors. Uh, sometimes I'll just select like the green, all green then it won't have a head. It doesn't matter how long the head's there or not. But, um, but that's where the colors uh, come from whenever you're doing this kind of a morph. So I kind of like to keep the head a little bit smaller at the end and at the, at the start and at the end. Ten's good for me, you know. That's, I, that's not small, small, but you know, you can get, make, make it a little smaller if you wanted. Now, what's important here is we've got this morph that's going straight across and Let's go ahead and resize this so it's smaller. So now it should appear faster. Now, what people liked uh, about, and I, I, I kind of call it missile command, is whenever you're kind of shooting rockets from the bottom up to the top. And let's say you want to start in the middle, though. You want to start here in the middle of the tree and work your way out on this side and work your way out on this side. Kind of like uh, rockets shooting up the middle section first and going and spreading out to the outsides of the tree. Well, you can do that, and that's very simple by using the layer setting box, the buffer tab. If you right click and you do, let's say, the right half of the mega tree, okay, now you've just segregated the entire mega tree to the right hand side of it, okay. Let's go ahead and copy this and let's paste this. And now, instead of moving the buffer tab over here, let's go up to the transformation and let's flip it horizontally. So, in essence, it will take this screen and flip it over to here. And now we get this little rockets up the center. Um, I think that that's uh, something pretty cool. Uh, and something else you can do is you can double that up. You can put a second set on there. You can hold the shift key down and go over a little bit. And then we can um, we can go in and we can change the uh, color of the effect and update it. So now you've got this double morph that uh, if you want it even tighter to be a little bit more defined, like they're on top of each other. Uh, I know that Superstar, a lot of those sequences in Superstar Sequencer uh, that you buy, that they have this kind of uh, this kind of effect, and it's relatively simple. Now, if you just change your color palette, update, and then you can you can do this as much as you want. Um, this is very very simple to do with literally only one simple effect. So. Um, that's. Uh, I hope that you guys understand now, or have a better uh, a better feel for how the uh, the morph effect works. That the head duration uh, makes it either longer or shorter. Uh, as far as the tail goes, it gives uh, a good. Uh, you can use the repeat count to repeat any number, a single strand or a block. Here, you can do that. I mean, and and there's also one other thing that I really didn't go over, which is uh, let's uh, clear this out here. Let's uh, let's do a morph real quick, and um, let's do let's just leave it at this. There's this thing that we can do down here in the buffer tab, where we can rotate 90 degrees. So now we just took the mega tree 
and we just absolutely flipped it on its side and you can see that it's repeating going up the tree because we have five repeat counts let's go ahead and skip a couple see what happens so now it's repeating all the way up the tree and got a couple lines in between there and um, you can you can stagger that more if you want to so there's one effect that you can do copy and paste now watch this let's move this over a little bit and let's change the color and then let's rotate counterclockwise and maybe let's try flipping it horizontally so there's flipping horizontal flip vertical you know there's 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 a hundred and there's a hundred different things that you can do with um, with the morph effect that uh, you possibly couldn't do any other way um, and you can do it with just one single effect I mean you're, you're looking at some of the neatest things that you can do by simply playing with your options tab your repeat count your skip count and your stagger count uh, now remember if you're just only using the full sweep up and down you're not utilizing the potential that X lights gives to the morph effect so my hats off to Gil for creating this wonderful uh, piece of effect he's uh, he's done an outstanding job I I hope he continues to uh, to uh, push forward with uh, the implementation of new things such as this um, because this is such a powerful effect and uh, you can do so many great things with this hey guys thanks for watching I know this video got very long but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below um, I look forward to uh, keeping up with the videos here coming through 2017 thanks for being with me Th take care